Okay, so now we're ready to rig this guy to an F-Life 2 rig. How do we do that? So we have a set of tool here, the valve source tools, and we're gonna create a biped guide for this character. I have to take this guy here, scale it down so that it fits approximately. Once I'm done with the scaling, I'm gonna freeze its transform. And now, I only have to place the actual biped guide. By the way, a version of those tools is available in the XSI mod tool. And uh, you can also get access to them by contacting Valve directly. up do the same thing with this here like this like this okay so we're gonna go on top view to see how how this does fit so we're gonna rotate this. Good. I'm gonna go global. Rotate this. I'm gonna do this pretty roughly, since I don't want to take too much time. Good. I'm gonna look at it in the right view. Looks good to me. Well, it's not bad. Okay, so let's say we're happy with this. Go back in front view. And now, we're gonna select this guide and actually build the rig from it. So it's gonna do its magic. So, I can get rid of the guide, and now I'm gonna envelope this guy on the rig. Envelope the former, there we go, enveloped. So, I'm gonna edit the weight of this guy a bit though to make sure that everything behaves as I want. I'm gonna do that pretty quickly. There we go. Edit weight. So let's see we're done. We're gonna just check check if everything goes smoothly. Seems good to me. Looks good to me. This also looks good to me. Perfect. Here it is. Waited and everything on the Half-Life 2 rig. So now we're almost ready to export this guy. We only have to put it under a model. And with him selected, we're gonna export as an SMD file which is a Half-Life 2 source SDK file. So we're gonna put that in 
the destination folder of SND there and we export this character I've called it skeleton so we're done now with XSI actually so I have uh, my texture here that we've generated with render map that I actually need to compile using the vtext.exe little program provided with the F-Life source SDK. This is compiled. It's gonna go here, right there. And with the texture, we actually have to create a folder of the same name, Skeleton. And within that, we have to put some basic information. So define the name of the model, the, the, the material, Skeleton. By the way, all this I actually learned by watching uh, Noise's uh, DVD that actually explains how to do character export very nicely. So this is the, the actual uh, SMD we just exported. We have to create a text file according that uh, actually uh, describes that character a bit so we have to actually name it right there and so in the on the Nuisys DVD you can find a template for that where you only have to replace a couple of things and that's it so I have this already prepared for you so I'm gonna compile the model now here we go it's done and now, in the destination model, I have a skeleton folder. If I go there and open the MDL file, it's going to open the F52 viewer. And I have my skeleton here, cheering and stuff, reusing animation. So we could change those animations if we want. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, that's good. So now, once we have that, how do we actually replace a character in F-Life 2? Well, you just have to know that in this F-Life 2 model folder, you go there and you copy your file there and you just have to know the name of a character you want to replace so we're gonna replace our the police character with our skeleton so I'm gonna rename those file to police and that's it all the police character in Half-Life will now be replaced so we're going to start Half-Life 2 now. Excuse the little glitch in the capture. As you can see, Softimage XSI plays a core role in the Kalada community. Its rich and advanced feature set clearly makes it a powerful Kalada aggregator. You can also easily reuse data in XSI by retargeting animation from one character to another using motor even if the rig are different, or you can transfer attributes like weight, UVs, and even shape keys, morph target, from one asset to another, even if their topology is different, using Gator, the generic attribute transfer operator. All those features are extremely valuable in the production pipeline. They can save a huge amount of time, and time is money, right? In addition to this, with our crosswalk technology, you can use all this in every existing pipeline, since XSI can interact very nicely with the other major DCC application, and also with the Colada community, thanks to Colada. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. So now, have fun bringing your own character into Half-Life. Bye.